Hello again, everybody. So I am back with my February monthly spread video. Um, I just kind of wanted to start here so I can show you guys the note page that I did for February. This is a kit from Pretty on Paper Co. as is my February monthly kit that you see here. I believe this is the Black Friday exclusive kit um, and I just added a little bit of washi here uh, because the headers on this were not quite long enough for the new notes pages. So obviously this is an old style notes page kit that she did. Um, and I filmed a video doing this, but I don't know what I did with it. I think I may have just like trashed the video. Anyway, whatever. So I do apologize if the lighting is a little weird. I am once again working in my bedroom. Let's see if I can fix it a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, <laughs> just because of being sick and everything. Um, but I did want to go ahead and do this just because I was bored <laughs> and I thought doing a monthly plan with me spread would be a good thing. So I'm very, very early doing this. Um, but I don't have a ton of stuff going on in February, um, at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by putting in the headers. So there are only two pages to this kit. So there's not a ton of stuff here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start by putting in the header strips. This is gonna be new for me because I've never used one of the monthlies from this shop. I wanna make sure I get everything down properly. Um, so one thing about this particular kit, I will say, because Pretty on Paper Co.'s monthly kits are you tell them what month you want, um, it doesn't come with like specific holidays or anything like that built in. So it's a little weird in that sense. Um, you don't get, you know, all the holidays and stuff that you would get in a monthly kit where the kit is specifically, is designed for a specific month. Um, so, but I do really like it. And I thought this was a good one for February because it does have this little love yourself first over here. So I thought it would be a good one to use in February. Um, the other thing of course is since they are not designed for specific months, they also don't have the washi to place over the boxes that are not used in that particular month. So that's kind of, <coughs> excuse me, a downside to having this particular type of spread. So I think I'm gonna do the sidebar or notes side next. Um, so I'm just gonna start with a header that is pre-printed in the kit to do this month. That is always a good thing to have. And get it to go in. There we go. And then I'm going to try and avoid using this particular box uh, simply because black is really difficult to write in. So that one is going to be my last choice to put in for this particular kit. Um, so we'll kind of see, I think I actually have like a full box from another shop that kind of goes with this that I might be able to put in. So I have a to do, um, I also want to do to read this or what I read this month. Cause this is also the month of the, um, creating and co readathon. So I don't know how much reading I'm actually going to accomplish. Um, Cause let's just be real. I'm a teacher. I don't always have time to do all the things I would like to do in a month. Um, February shouldn't be too bad. Like I will be starting rehearsals for my show, but we don't like have the show until May. So we have some time. Um, but at the same time, I do want to not over plan my months. Looks like I'm probably going to end up using all four sets of check boxes, which is fine. Um, so I'm 
do a this month one and that'll be where I track my Korean dramas I think most likely like what I watch um I kind of like the idea of putting in planner spreads I think that's a good idea help me kind of keep track of what I'm intending to put down. I do have that planned out already in my like dirty planner. Um, so, and that's actually one where I only really need four. No, oh, it goes a little down past the end of the box, but that's fine. Okay, so I guess I did end up using all of those. All right, so next, I should have brought out the tweezers to do the numbers because <laughs> that's going to be really hard and that's going to take forever. So I may just not put in the numbers. There's, sorry, I've got hair on it. Eh. My hair has been up all day and so it has decided to be annoying now. So I do want to put in my paydays. So I'm getting paid on the 15th and the 28th this month. Um, and I will have one other payday at least. I should have a payday on the first, mm, second? Yeah, the second. Yeah, I should have a payday on the second, so I'll put one there as well, because that'll be for Jamberry, and the other two are my um, actual job job paydays. Although I will say I typically get paid for Jamberry six hours early. So I usually get paid at like six o'clock the day before my payday. Um, so that's always interesting. So let's see, what do I wanna put in? Um, oh, I wanna put a big box on the 17th cause I'm doing something special on the 17th that I actually can't put in this video. Um, because it is a surprise for my mother. So there's something special happening on the 17th that I definitely want to have marked as a special day. Um, but I can't write what it is just yet. I can't say it in the video either, just in case my mom watches this. Um, so there is something special happening the 17th. Let me go back and look at my uh, dirty planner and see what else I need. Um, okay, so the first, yeah, I want to put that in, I'm going to do a flag. So applications for Epic open on the first and I am considering applying. Um, so Epic is the English program in Korea. I, I don't know, if I don't get it, I won't leave my current job, but Obviously, like if I were to get it, I would totally go. So it's one of those things like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I do need to put in my meetings because I have a meeting every single Tuesday without fail. So we'll use these pretty glittery labels for my Tuesday meetings. And I'm honestly going to put in all the other date dots last. So like, that'll be the last thing I do. Um, just because that takes forever. And so that way I can just kind of speed through the end of that. So I don't put in my bills on my monthly spread here because I have all of my bills on my monthly spread in my uh, deluxe monthly. So that's why there are no bills put in on this. Okay, the seventh, we have a late start day. So that needs to be marked because that's important. Then 13, you know, wait, nah, sorry, 13th is leadership. I've got something in for that already. Uh, the 19th we have a teacher work day, which I think is our annual, like, district thing. Um, 
so it's like a big like rally thing and I also have that night these are the little headers for that um, some of my kids will be performing with the Young Americans so that's exciting we've got Young Americans coming the Young Americans uh, theater group coming to our district that weekend or that week your yeah weekend sorry y'all I'm like really tired <laughs> All right, so that's like everything I have so far. Obviously things will be added as the month progresses. Um, but yeah, that's what I have so far. So I'm gonna shut the camera off right now, put in the date dots and write a couple of things in. Not writing that in, but you know, you guys know something's happening, I just can't tell you what. Um, so I'm gonna write in what I know and then I will be back to show you all the finished product. All right. So I am back with my finished spread. Well, mostly finished. I do still need to fill in that. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and put in all the date dots, wrote everything in. I did decide to put my second full box on um, Valentine's Day, just because I thought it would be cute. And I figure I'll probably find some really cute Valentine's Day stickers somewhere. Um, not that I actually have plans for Valentine's Day, because I don't, I'm single have been single for a while um so I typically don't do anything except potentially go to Target the day after to get you know super cheap candy <laughs> um I'm sure I'm not the only one who does that um but yeah so I did go ahead and fill out the um spreads that I use for the month or I'm going to use for the month so I put the pretty on paper co I just put the um company names because there wasn't enough space for everything so Pretty on Paper Co. is my monthly and my notes page. And then I listed out the companies that I'm using for each of the following weeks as well. Um, I really don't have much else to say because, like I said, I put my bills somewhere else. I do my content calendar for my social media stuff in a different planner as well. Um, this is purely just like work and personal stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my super boring month of February plan with me. Um, I feel like my monthlies are always really boring simply because, like, I don't know what's happening until much closer to the date. Like, this is something that tickets had to be purchased for, so obviously I knew that in advance. And, like, these are planned well in advance, but nothing else in my life really happens until like the day of or the week of. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and I will talk to you soon.